Hey, it's Joe. Uh, this next one is from Sherry Ohm from Norwalk, California. Sherry asks, thanks for all your great information. What do I need to do to comply with the Dodd-Frank Act if I'm buying properties cheap and reselling with seller financing to an end buyer who wants to live in the home? Well, first of all, you don't have to buy properties cheap in order to resell them. You can buy them at full market value. If you get them on terms, you can make you can actually sell them for a premium and take the profit as your uh, take take the, the the amount that you sell it over market value as your profit. And uh, so you don't really need to, to worry about that. As far as the Dodd Frank Act goes, there's a if if you type in Dodd Frank Dodd slash Frank into my blog, there's an article that I did on Dodd Frank, and I, so I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it. But but one thing we know. About about Dodd-Frank is it's mainly focused on securities. So they're interested in people that are using private money and uh, you know whether or not those people need security licenses and those types of things rather than the type of seller financing that we do. Uh, because this is essentially all we're doing is facilitating a sale. We're taking control of the property, we're turning around and selling it, uh, we're doing proper disclosures, we're doing all the things that uh, Dodd-Frank is designed to force uh, companies to do. So we're, we've already been doing those things. We do it ethically, we make sure people understand what's going on, you know, so we don't really have to worry about Dodd-Frank so much. Uh, also, Dodd-Frank is, is um, many hundreds of pages long, and uh, most of the things in Dodd-Frank have never been uh, contested in court. So we don't know how some of that stuff is going to play out over the next few years. So we'll just continue to watch that over the next few years and see if it has an impact on uh, on uh, investors like us. Uh, there was an awful lot of fear in the investor community about Dodd-Frank and uh, so far we've seen, you know, and, and as I said from the very beginning, most of these things, you know, we, we have to make a tweak or two to make it work. But, you know, if you're doing it ethically anyway in the first place, if you're doing the paperwork properly in the first place, then these things are already going to be complied with and you're not going to have to worry about them so much. If you're raising private money, that's a different story. Then you might need to be a securities, uh, you know, might need to get a securities license to make that work. But uh, read my article on the blog, joecrumpblog.com, uh, about Dodd-Frank and I think it'll give you a better understanding of what we're doing with that and how we're uh, complying with it and what you'll need to do to do that as well. Okay, I hope that helps. You know, and, and before I end, the, the bottom line on this is don't worry so much about regulation. I'm not saying don't comply. I'm saying don't worry about it. We've always found a way to make these things work, and we've always found a way to, uh, to continue to do business. Remember, we're still working in a free market economy. They're not trying to keep us from doing business. They're just wanting to make sure that the business that we do is done properly, is done ethically, is done responsibly, is it make sure that everybody understands what's going on in a deal. The, the reason that these, these the regulations come into uh, to being is not so they can you know, chop off the head of, of capitalism. <laughs> the reason is, is because they want to keep people from abusing uh, their power and their knowledge over other people. And uh, so if you treat this, this business responsibly, if you treat it ethically, if you do disclose the stuff that you're doing and make sure everybody understands what their risks are and what their benefits are when they go into a deal, you won't have to worry about very many of these things. All right, I hope that helps.